Okay guys, it's Kevin here from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs. Uh, it's been more than a couple weeks since I touched the little roaster, but uh, my plan today is to start tackling the rear wheel wells. I'll show you in a second there once I get the wheel off uh, what someone's done many years ago, but nonetheless they just crudely cut it out. I guess it was drastically channeled or who knows, right? But uh, Again, when I got this body, it was literally in pieces. It was all cut up. The rear subframes were cut out. It was just pretty much the shell and all in pieces. So uh, nonetheless, I'll get the jack here. Jack it up, get this tire off, and then we'll have a looky-loo. I'll see you in a minute. Again, these firewall, or sorry, Firestone uh, dragsters, a very nice unit, especially with the white walls. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> As you can see, guys, it's all cut out here who knows when but many years ago nonetheless so uh i'm gonna sit down and have a look at this and see how i'm gonna tackle it but nonetheless i uh picked up a while ago there from princess auto here in canada a bead roller uh kit so i'm gonna give that a try okay see you soon guys Okay guys, I have uh, just used the felt marker, make a highlight around here where I want to cut. I already started trimming some off, so I'm just going to finish that off. And then uh, we'll go from there, then I'll start seeing about a paper template. So, I'll put you guys on the video. <clears throat> Okay, so that's just a rough, rough idea where I'm going to start with. I'm just going to have to deburr everything. And it's not perfect, but again, I'll just make it so I can butt it right up and go from there. Okay. Okay, guys, I made a rough cut so far of the wheel well opening here. Again, it's nothing fancy, it's just paper. Actually, it was a, I didn't have a large enough piece, so I just taped it together, but it'll work. But uh, nonetheless, again, this is a, it's just a rough cut here, just to get me in the, the ballpark. Trust me, this is gonna take a while. This isn't gonna happen the first couple of minutes, but it's gonna be lots of trimming. Again, I'm, uh, not a fabricator at all. Just the guy working in my garage trying to get the job done. 
But uh, here. Oh. So pretty much. <clears throat> Again, this is just a starting point. So it's going to take a lot more, but I figured just show you some some steps. Again, I'm just just winging it here, but uh, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to take this on and then start going from the inside and start making my my scribe lines onto this paper here. And again, just keep on going back and forth, trimming it. So I'll. Uh, Work at this for a bit, and then I'll come back and show you some progress. Hey guys, it's uh, it's been more than a couple days since I worked on the little Marley Roadster, but uh, last time I made some templates, and I already cut out my metal here for my uh, wheel well. I put a couple beads in already, but then they're, I wasn't happy with them, they're too small, so I'm, I'm going into a half inch die now. So I'll just show you here quickly. Just put it in. You gotta set your tension down here. I just count the turns. And here we go. I just bought this bead roller here from Prince's Auto. I haven't modified it yet. I just lit literally have it clamped to my vise and sad, but I already have my vise just clamped to my table here. So I'm not prepared, but oh well, it'll work. I just got one more to do and then I'll show you guys. I just have uh, three beads in the well here. And again, I'm using a half inch die here. Again, I gotta modify a, the bead roller here, make it a little more rigid. It's a good unit of that, but it just needs to be a little more rigid. And I'm gonna put a wheel on it as well. But that's not today. Just lower this here. Oh yeah, here we go. Key is to keep it, keep your eye on it to just take your time. Again, that's uh, I want to make a stand for this so I don't have to keep on rotating it. But again, I just li literally bought this the other day, and I'm uh, kind of anxious to get this panel going. There. So, there's the panel. I just got to straighten it a little bit. Um, uh, what I was told, you got to run it through the Eng English wheel to stretch the metal since it, it shrinks the metal using the bead roller. But I'm going to strain that and then I'm going to uh, tack it in the car and we'll go from there and I'll show you guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys. I've. Uh, done a bunch of tack welds i'm not done yet but i just uh made a bunch of progress again it's not it's not done yet but i just want to sh show you guys here but um i still have to do a bunch more little tack welds but i also weld that i'll show you in a second so i'm like one eighth steel behind there because i want to make a support bracket going from back here. That's where I welded it right there on both sides. Just a stiffener to weld it onto the uh, subframe, just so it's a little more support and whatnot. But again, it's not perfect. I'm not a fabricator. I'm just a guy who likes to have a good time in the garage. But uh, I want to finish welding this, grind it, put that uh, support in the inner cavity of it then i'll uh, show you the the end result again it's not perfect but it's way better than it was before see you guys soon
Okay guys, so I've uh, got most of it all welded in. I started grinding it already. I'm just gonna grind off the uh, lower spot welds for that inner brace where I made down here to stiffen this up. But uh, I'm gonna start grinding this and then I'll give you a good, good shot of this, okay guys? Okay guys, here you go, it's uh, it's not perfect, but for this car it's not perfect either, so it's going to be just fine and dandy, like a sour candy, but uh, nonetheless, I got to just put a support going here to the part of the subframe here just to make that a little more rigid so it doesn't start flopping around but again sorry guys I didn't film too much of this episode here um, tell you the truth it's got sidetracked and this is a couple days here and there from doing it but uh, I'm kind of happy with it I'm just going to get a sanding disc sand all this here and then uh, we're going to wrap up this video. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas, so that means this episode is done. But if you want to come have a look at here, it, uh, it's not fully, fully ground yet, but it's just, I just wanted to show, you know, what was done. But again, it's just from using paper templates, a lot of cutting, a lot of, sorry, a lot of cutting, lots of patience. Put a couple beads in there with the bead roller. So again, it's not perfect, but the car is going to be rough around the edges anyways, right? So again, I still got a bunch of grinding to do, but so um, if you have any comments, leave them below. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time. See you later. So this happened. Carson, my oldest boy, and myself did that this morning here. Pulled it out. There's the four speed there. So this will be an upcoming uh, video and project. So stay tuned. Nothing uh, broke or nothing on it. So that's the major thing. So, so. Thanks a lot guys. It was an exciting video, but one step closer to the little Marley Roadster. Thanks. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much. Have a good night.